Did you know we also have some great poets? Well, Jesse Bernstein has been voted Seattle's best local poet, and he joins us today. Welcome, Jesse. Thank you. Good to have you. What, how long have you been a poet? Have you been a poet all? Did you know that you were a poet from the time you could begin writing? No. I started writing poetry seriously when I was uh, maybe 15 years old. And what generally are the themes of your poetry? Um, life as it, as it appears to me. Do you feel like you have a, a slice, a view of a certain slice yeah, of life? Yeah, it's, it's dark. Dark. I, I'm, I'm considered a very dark poet, yeah. Dark poet. Mm -hmm. uh, let me read what the entry says in the weekly because it talks about your, um, it says you have a raw narrative style and sandpapery voice. I don't think your voice sounds sandpapery. No, do you? not now. Do you think Seattle is a good place for poets? Gosh, I don't, I don't know if any place is a good place for poets particularly, you know, I mean, more than one place, more than another. I mean, I found, for instance, New York, which is supposed to be such an sure. open place, yeah. it's very closed. Huh. It's a very closed place to, to try and read or communicate with people uh, using poetry. So, um, I was glad to get back here. When you talk about poetry, then, you see it as a communication to people. Yeah. Sometimes, when I'm in my room, I don't see it that way. I just see it as, as writing on the, just what I do. It's my yeah. work. Uh -huh. I get up in the morning and I write, write things. I work on my poems and I shuffle through papers and so on. But when I'm on a stage, yeah, it's a communication. Why else would I be there? That's right. All right, Jesse Bernstein, thank you for being with us and congratulations on your being voted best poet by the weekly um, newspaper readers. Well, thank you to the readers of the weekly.